what's up everyone welcome back to another video now in today's video i'll be showing you how i make these delicious escovitch fish stay tuned so guys here i have some red snapper already washed and clean i washed with lemon juice and vinegar and i'm gonna go ahead and pat dry these remove some of the excess water so we don't get no splattering while frying because we don't want to burn ourselves so you want to make sure you dry it properly and i'm gonna go in and add a little slits so um the salt and pepper seasoning can go in and soak through the entire thing so i'm just gonna split these and then i'm gonna season them So here I have a mixture of salt and pepper. Now guys, you could add more seasoning if you want, but this is my classic way of just using salt and pepper. That way the fish won't stick to the pan and you won't the fish won't tear up because you are you are pulling some of the moisture from the fish by just using salt and black pepper. But by all means, use whatever seasoning you like. So I'm going to go in and season this properly, go into the cavity and make sure this is well seasoned and I'm going to season it and allow it to sit for about 10 to 20 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and fry these up. So guys, I'm using my deep fryer today. But if you don't have one, you could just get a pot with oil and fill it up halfway. Just make sure you have enough oil in the pan to kind of cover the fish. But I'm going to use my deep fryer today. And I'm going to fry this until golden for about 9 to 10 minutes. Now after 10 minutes, this is what my fish is looking like. I'm going to go ahead and fry up the rest. Now in the meantime, the rest is frying. I'm going to go ahead and prep my escovit seasoning. So here I have a large onion and I'm going to cut this up into small pieces or half a rings. However you want to cut it, it's up to you. And here I like to cut my carrots into small matchstick shape. Now you could cut your carrot. In your in the desired shape you want but this is my way so I'm just gonna cut these up into some sticks and I'm gonna go ahead cut my bell pepper up and my scotch bonnet pepper now for the pepper the heat depends on you if you like a spicy escovitch fish you go ahead and add more if you don't like a lot of spice just tone it down a bit so in a pot I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of oil just to saute the veggies you don't need a, need a lot I'm going to saute these for about three minutes. Now guys, I like my veggies to have a little bit of crunch, so I don't want them to saute too much. So you could go ahead and again and saute to your preference. And as it sits, the vinegar will also cook it, so you don't want to make it too soft. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few pimenta seeds. Now this is optional. If you don't want to put it in, you could just leave it out. I'm gonna go ahead and add my white vinegar and I'm allow this to sit for another two to three minutes and bring the vinegar to a boil if you have reached this far in the video guys and you haven't yet subscribed hit that subscription button turn on the post notification bell so you never miss any of my upload and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and if you try this recipe you could tag me on instagram at toya's kitchen to let me see how yours turn out 
so here are my fish and i'm going to go ahead and add my sauce to my fish now guys you want to go in and you want to add the juices as well because you want that to soak up and all that vinegar has a lot of flavor in it so you want to make sure you put everything on your fish And there you have it guys, my escovish fish is nice and ready. Now traditionally this is have with bami, fried dumpling or festival. You could have it with whatever you like and a big cup of chocolate tea or have a beer and put your foot up. That's it my beautiful people. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.